Hello, welcome to my channel, Jelly Holiday with Mary. I am Mary, and today <laughs> is Christmas in July, but I'm doing another Christmas in July video towards the end of the month, so I missed May and June. So, Merry Christmas in May and June. This is just a couple months late, so <laughs> I have a few things to show you, only a few, and then you'll get a second Christmas in July video towards the end of the month. So if you're not subscribed, do click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any Disney Christmas dogs. We have a lot of fun here, so I hope you will subscribe to my channel and let's get started. <laughs> so let's start with the smallest thing. Okay, so this is a Disney pin set from Stellar Badger Pins. She's my favorite pin maker. She makes a ton of amazing Mary Poppins pins, but this one is not Mary Poppins. This is from the short Pluto's Christmas tree, if you guys have seen that. Growing up in the 90s, we had a VHS that we would play every Christmas where my mom had recorded like some Donald Duck short where they're having like a snowball fight on a frozen lake and Huey, Dewey, and Louie like build this awesome ship thing out of like ice and stuff. Anyway, there's that one and then there's Pluto's Christmas tree where Mickey and Pluto go chop down a Christmas tree and Chip and Dale are in the tree and so they go home and set up the tree and start decorating and Chip and Dale uh, just wreak havoc on poor Pluto and his tree and Mickey does not believe him. That always made me so sad. It's like, this is your best friend and he's telling you there's something wrong. Stop yelling at him. Anyway, the most like adorable iconic part of this short film is when Chip and Dale are trying to hide from Pluto and Mickey <laughs> and they climb up on the um, fireplace and stands next to the candles the Santa candles and steals one of their hats and then Pluto who is a little menace uh, tells Mickey that he wants to light the candles on the fireplace <laughs> so then Mickey lights Dale's um, candle and obviously Chip has to come and save him so <laughs> I saw this pin set from Day Tripping Disney, Cameron showed this pin set and I was like, oh my gosh, I want that so bad. That's like my favorite thing. Um, and it was sold out. But I checked a little bit later and I saw that there was gonna be um, like a re-release. So I was like, oh my gosh. So I stalked her Instagram for a long, long time and finally got this pin set. I really love it with the card. I'm not sure how I'm gonna display this if I'll put it on my pin flag thingy just like this or what but anyway um and then I don't know if I showed you guys this my mom got me this for Christmas she asked me what I wanted and I finally have things that I can tell her like Jim Shores or uh lounge flies or whatever so I told her this one um because it wasn't super super expensive um obviously some Jim Shores are really expensive so I would not ask her to buy those but this one wasn't too bad and I, like I said, I love this scene from Pluto's Christmas tree. It's just like my childhood, so I love it. I love all the Jim Shore details. But look at his little belly. I love it so much. So I thought I would show you guys this too because I can't remember if I actually showed you. Um, but yeah, so my little collection of Pluto's Christmas tree stuff is coming right along. <laughs> Um, and then last but not least, this is just a short little video, I guess. Um, but this is like, I'm obsessed. This is amazing. My wonderful enabling friend, Sam North, <laughs> she started looking for this bag and then I was reminded because I had like three of these in my eBay watch list. I took the plunge a couple months ago and got one of my grail bags. <laughs> I just love it so much. I really wanted the Mickey pumpkin from two years ago. I have not gotten that one, but I finally picked up this lounge fly bag. The, the red velvet is just like so luxurious. His furry beard and coat and hat and the little puff ball. Like it's just, it's so dang adorable. All of this glamorous red velvet. It's so nice. And then the gold accents. Ugh, I love them. And then the straps are like shiny. <laughs> I love it so much. It's 
it's got his little belt buckle thingy. It's awesome. And then let me show you the inside. Some cute little snowflakes in there. So Christmassy and wintry. There's no um, inside pocket. There's no outside pocket except for the sides. But I mean, I guess you could probably put a phone in there. Let's see. Yeah. I just have the 12, so I don't know if like the plus, the giant ones would fit in there, but mine fits, so not that I would necessarily put my phone in an outside pocket, but you know. Anyway, so that is this bag. It has the two side pockets. There's the plaque and it's just lovely. The park's exclusive and he is adorable. He's awesome. So there you go. Happy Christmas in July, but really for May and June. <laughs> anyway, I love this bag so much. Holy cow. It's, it's easily in my top five favorite bags. And I leave him up on my, like I have a little Christmas shelf up there. So this stays out all year and my Mickey bag stays out all year. Cause I just, I love it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this short little Christmas video. I'll have another one later on in the month. Um, it should be a Christmas craft video. So I'm excited to show you guys that. It's a collab with a bunch of other people. So there'll be lots of Christmassy goodness coming soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and leave me a comment, subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Don't stay away too long.